time for more Bloodborne. Let's just nope. Be silent, TikTok. Uh, I'm just gonna put the link in our group chat. Uh, again, I watched back a bit of the stream and I noticed that um, it was kind of hard to hear me over the sound of the game again. Uh, I'm still trying to try to find... Trying to try. <laughs> I'm still trying to find um, like a good balance between my voice and the sounds and um, I stream right off the PlayStation so it's not very technologically advanced my cat is staring at me and he's really cute it's hot so he's like uh, really <laughs> not having a good time of it oh bud my little bud he's very cute <sighs> So I leveled up a bit more, um, I am now, I'm, I might be a little over leveled, especially for Amelia, um, I'm level 42 now, um, so I put most of it into vitality and strength, uh, I, hi, hi Kyuku mom, what's up, welcome, surprised to see you. Uh, I upgraded my Tenitrus, and then, uh, I got Ludwig's Holy Blade up to where I need Bloodstone Chunks, instead of Twinstone Shards, so, yeah. Well, thanks for coming! Uh, I did not know that you would be coming. Loafs. Loafing. Uh, I usually stream for Nana, so I'm just gonna, I guess, wait for her to show up, but... She's probably letting her dogs out or something. Doggos. Hi, Nana! I found her. Welcome! So, I figured today... I'd do a chalice dungeon. Just because, uh, I was talking about it. Yeah. <laughs> Hello! Wow. Everybody is here. <laughs> uh, so, we're just gonna go right into a chalice dungeon. Uh, if I recall, this one is a little... Not enough materials. Oh, I don't have enough blood echoes. That's okay. We'll go kill a snatcher real quick. Go to the Hypogean Jail. I wonder why they, uh, spelled it like that. It looks like gowl, but it's jail. Oh, hope everybody had a good day today. I had an okay day. It's very hot again. Uh, I was on the phone with Brandon last night, and, uh, I was like, Oh, I should turn off the air conditioning and, uh, open the windows, because it's, it's pretty hot. So I went to go turn off the the air conditioning and I noticed that it had never been on in the first place. So, that's fun. That explained why I was so hot yesterday. Bit British, in it. Yeah. Can I steal Henlo? I love Corky. <laughs> it's certainly not unique to him, so I don't think anybody would mind if he did. Henlo. It's cute though. I do agree with that. I don't believe in copyright. Uh, uh, it's a slippery slope. Slippery slope you going down. Okay, so I started a a chalice here, as you can see. And uh Yeah, let's just do it I guess. So I got, I was saying before, <laughs> I was saying before anybody really got here that I was upgraded my weapons. 
I just need a few more uh, twin blood shards for my tinnitus, which I got yesterday. I don't think Brandon was here for that. And then uh, I can't upgrade my holy blade anymore until I think past ROM, maybe? I don't know. Hey, weren't we here in D&D? 20% markup on all your ideas. Aren't we here in D&D? Weren't we? I feel like you used this for a scene picture. No. <laughs> Should really, probably. Oh, and I bought the the little lantern. Wait, what's it on? There we go. Tomb Raiden. Oh, I should check for fake walls. I don't know if there are any in here. I found a few like one time and now I'm super paranoid. <laughs> okay, you can feel me. <laughs> yeah. Hello, rats. Rats are creatures. Where'd they go? Oh. Creatures. So 20% of zero. <laughs> yep. Uh, it's, uh, it's expensive, but worth it. Well worth the, the effort that he put into it. He should appreciate his intellectual property. I remember that there is a snatcher in here, I think. Right? Yeah, there he is. Ah! <laughs> he got me before I even saw him. Oh, buddy, are you melting? Buddy is melting. Buddy. Buddy. I love you, buddy. He's so cute. I wish I could have like a buddy cam during stream. Like, here's what the buddy is up to. <laughs> Did somebody just die trying to get to me? It's kind of funny. $250 for a trademark? That feels like a lot. Oh, hey. Oh, okay. There's a bell lady in the first dungeon? Did you- yeah, did you mean... 20,000? Give the creature a pat, he's too far away. So he is, uh, in the- the Ikea chair that we keep kind of like in the corner. Oh my god, you guys suck! Hey buddy! Look at him going up the ladder. Well, this isn't ridiculous or anything. <laughs> okay, you know what? I would happily give him a pat when I have the chance. Ding a ling a ling. Oh. Hey, that was good timing. Ow. Ow. Heal. Please heal. Just get through the door. <laughs> this is what I imagine Kyrie kind of looking like. So it's like, Kyrie, Kyrie, don't do this to me! Ow. I messed up. Ew, puddle looks like what I pulled out of the ground today. Ew, hello, it is quirky. Hello, I'm trying not to swear. <laughs> it's like someone's mom is here. I can't swear now. <laughs> oh crap! Oh, there's somebody there. 
Selamat pagi! Christine still says that, I think. Ooh. Salamat pagi! There's another guy over there. I am on my best behavior. Can't do anything about the graphics, though. Fire truck! <laughs> Where is the... what? Oh, there it is. I was like, that has to be coming from somewhere, right? Eh. So, the whole, like, gist of Chalice Dungeons is you're usually looking for a switch to open the gate. There's usually some other side stuff that you can do, but that's the the main point of it. I didn't do very well. I had to use four blood vials. <laughs> that's okay. Hey! Look at me again being cool. Doing stuff at the right time. Where's that guy? Did he die? Hello? Not the Nintendo Switch, no. That is the wrong kind of Switch. Hello? Ow. Owie. Man, I suck lately. <laughs> At least I finally killed Henrik. I feel okay knowing that I didn't leave that hanging. I never did do Jura though, we should also do that. Sometime soon. Bye buddy! He's going off to his room. To sulk. Be a sulking creature. What did you find in the ground today, Brandon? Did you mean this puddle? Cause that's really unfortunate. There's a bunch of rats. What is that? Hi. Okay. That's fine. I'll probably be on for like two and a half hours. So thanks for stopping by though. Rat. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Oh, oh, nope. Not doing this. Woohoo! Close quarters. Yeah, it was redacted? Concern. I mean, I guess you do work for the government. Oh, you're still alive? God. Shining coins, that's not very helpful to me. Okay, that's cool. Hi, crater. Okay. At least chalice dungeons are good for echoes. Echo farming. Is that everything then? Oh, I see one. Another item or two? Quicksilver. When did I take my gun out? I didn't mean to. Taking dark in here. Dark and scary. We got some R O U S in here. I should have made that joke before my mom left. Now it's not as funny. Had to itch, itch my armpit, because he needed to know that. Okay, I think that's everything in this, and then, uh, I think Undead Giant is the boss here. Yeah! <laughs> Nana knows. Nana got it. Hue <laughs> hue hue. Okay, so here's the boss. I think 
Okay. You don't have to, but I appreciate that. Uh, for... Aren't undead giants weak to thunder? I don't know. We'll see. Ah! <laughs> God! Ooh. Oh -ho. Ugh. Yeah, I remember Brandon said he had trouble with this guy, but I remember I really didn't. Yeah, I'm dead. Yep. That's okay. Uh, it's like I was talking about yesterday, I 100% expect A, to die a lot, but B, especially to bosses that I didn't struggle with last time. I think I only fought like one or two undead giants before. Yeah, it's a boss. Uh, Chalice Dungeons typically have three levels, or layers, yeah it says layer one. Um, and each one has a boss. And they tend to be... A little different, I guess. <laughs> yeah, I should probably just use my sword because it does more damage, huh? I guess I could use bolt paper. Technically. Technically. Uh, I don't, I can't buy bolt paper yet though. I think I can buy fire paper though. Well, let's just get my echoes back. Uh, I think he does blunt damage, right? Do I have something better for blunt? Not really. This is better for blunt, but it has less defense overall. Uh, same with that. Yeah, nothing... Nothing much. Oh well. Uh, yeah, I don't have a lot for options right now. I could get Ariana's blood in my hotbar. I don't know that that would help that much, but hey, that's something. Yeah, I really did not expect for him to jump at me out of nowhere. Beginning there, that kind of... Yeah, I think to Nitrous is a little uh, too much to keep track of because you have to keep it charged. Wait, can't you break his arm? Oh, it's his leg. Right. Need to stay healed up. Oh, owie. Nope. Ariana's blood does not do very much. Ah, too far away.
Come on. Give us better blood, Ariana. Ow. Go figure I would fucking die right here. That's what I was waiting for. <laughs> oh. Alright. Well, I guess it wasn't a fluke that I killed it in two tries last time, too. That's just a you thing, I think, Brandon. That's okay, though. Yeah, I was telling Nana yesterday that I probably did Martyr Logarius like 70 times, something around there. So, you give it, you, <laughs> having like, I don't know, five tries on the Undead Giant is kind of cute in comparison to that. <laughs> Uh, isn't Watchdog the final boss in this one? Obviously it's not as bad as the Defiled Watchdog, but it is just Watchdog again. You know what I'm excited about? Uh, I'm excited because I can actually get the Whirly Gig as soon as I kill... What's her name? Viker Amelia. Yeah. Yeah. Let's go get some blood vials. Yeah, only defiled hot dog is super bad. And then regular amygdala is kind of a joke, and then defiled amygdala is like, hello. I am here to make your life as bad as it can possibly be. Okay, wait, let's see if we can... There's sometimes dialogue that you get from her if you are quiet when you approach. Nope. That's okay, I didn't want to talk to you anyway. What is defiled again? Defiled chalices, um... They're like regular chalice dungeons, but they cut your health bar in half. So. Oh wait, I thought, um... Yeah, I don't have enough stuff to... I thought defiled rites... I thought cursed rites give you half health. And then defiled was like... You have stronger enemies or something? I don't remember. Yeah, it's a hot dog. You will see him. Do not fret, child. You will see him. The hot dog. Not hot dog as in Bella hot dog. Although he is pretty hot dog shaped. He's just not as cute as that. Hello, it's very dark in here. Hello? Hello? It's very dark. Is anyone in here? Hello? Well, that looks like a trap. <laughs> no one is as cute as the queen, it's true. She is the cutest. She is just a little creature. But, like, she's also not that little. She's pretty huge, actually. There's a bell lady. Bell lady. Oh, I hear her, but I don't see her.
Bell. Oh, she's in there. In her heart, she's a little creature. That's okay. If she can be a little creature in her heart, she's just not very little. IRL. Little creature. Does she try to sit on your lap and stuff still? I love her. God. She's so cute. She's just a little potato. Even though, again, she is not that little creature. Just checking for secret doors. Secret tunnel! That one looked suspicious. God! <laughs> She's cute. She's a good goyle. A little goyle. She just wants hugs and love. Hello? Ugh, is that another watcher? Oh, it's one of the rolly ones! worst no he's just a dude he's naked and he just rolls around <laughs> look at him wiggle <laughs> that was alarming those guys are the reason that fatty is an acceptable thing to use in notebook messages which is ridiculous. Everyone's like, beware of fatty. It's like, thank you, I will beware of fatty. <laughs> too much booty. Is too much booty a thing? Can we really say that truly? Let's go see what's over here. Wow, look at this guy. Hi, guy. Pay attention to me. Hi. You know, I, I thought that, uh, I would be able to get... some pretty good blood echoes in here, but I'm kind of just getting, like, jack shit so far. Ooh, a kidnapper! What, like this is supposed to be hard? At this point, you guys are kind of jokes. If we're talking about his booty, then definitely. Yeah, I mean... It's not really an issue until they're not wearing clothes, and then it's like, Whoa, dude, like... Can you not? <laughs> No, uh, it's just kind of hard to get a bunch of them. You get them whenever you kill something, uh, so you always are getting them, it's just the amount that is variable. <laughs> I was cheerful because I was like, ooh, hey, that's pretty easy to fight. <laughs> I guess when something instills a lot of fear of you, you just learn how to fight it and then you're like, hey. I'm comfortable with this. And I'm also not afraid of you anymore, bitch. Bitch. Mew. Uh. So, for reference, I do get lost in these. To be honest. 
I'm always like, where was I? Where am I going? Okay, yeah. So this is the way out. I'm so excited for the evening in game. Uh, the evening is after Amelia, right? And then... Described emotional growth. <laughs> yeah, maybe. I don't know. What? Hey, dude. I saw a picture of Elon Musk yesterday and I sent it to Brandon and I was like, why does this look like, uh, the guys in the tombs? The, like, pale-ass white guys. Because he was in a bathing suit and he was, like, completely, like, paler than me, I'm pretty sure. Like, pale as fuck! It made me laugh. I really don't like Elon Musk, just for the record. He's probably one of my least favorite people. Like, I probably don't dislike him as much as I dislike Trump, for instance. But I do really dislike him. Trying out all the walls. Why are you excited for the evening, Brandon? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay, so this one is... Is this the Watchers? I might die. Or is this Watchdog? I don't remember. This is Watchers. Okay. Really not a fan. You just like that part a lot. Why? Ow. Why do I just heal myself every time I get hurt at all? <laughs> That's not what I meant to do. Can you... No. There you go. No. There we go. <laughs> Me just trying to remember how to play the fucking game, apparently. Hey, bud. Yeah, I guess we'll see who has a longer range. Me or you. <laughs> Ow. Well, you won that one. Owie. Owie. Yeah, that's a fair... Fair thing to be sus about. You know, I feel like I panicked a lot more the first time I did that. <laughs> I... Well, y'all kind of ugly, not gonna lie. Bye. <laughs> Yo, ugly teleports away, immediately dies. Among us. Why among us? Just because sus. Oh, wait, do you mean the imposter? Uh, hey, wait, did you answer me about... Did you answer me when I texted you earlier about Bloodborne, Brandon? Because I don't think you did. Can you answer what I asked you earlier? Oh, forward it again, I guess. This one. Oh, it auto-corrected to did one. Well, you know what I mean.
purple lamp. Hello? Hello? Uh, I should go back and get more blood vials again. Cause I'm a bitch and I heal too much! I get nervous. Uh, question mark? I got a weird text. Don't know what that's about. Yes, yes, they're very cute. Oh, no. We're going over here. Mm-hmm. Mm hmm now we're gonna fight the hot dog. Hot dog! Creature! It was very windy today. I had to, um, move one of my plants because the wind knocked it over. Not my fault that the basil is so thick. Uh, okay, what what point in the night should I do that then? Can you text me that also? Hello? Hello? Woo! So there's this enemy, um, that's kinda- I think it is a black pudding, isn't it? Or like a black ooze or something? That you can very clearly hear. But, um, for some reason, every time Brandon encounters one, he doesn't see or hear it. And so, he gets hit by it every time, and it's funny. That's my story, thank you for listening. Ah! Oh, there's a fluorescent flower here, isn't there? Ugh, why? I also hear a bell. Bell lady. Hi, fluorescent flower. That did not do very much. I am concerned. And in danger. sake. I'm just trying to exist, man. I'm also just trying to take care of this huge fucking bug. Just let me hit it! Thank you! Wait, it's not dead. It's not dead! <laughs> and there's a, a guy following me. Uh, stop! I want to go up here. Thank you. That was stressful. Nana, don't ask for that in D and D. It's a big centipede. What the heck? I need to t go take care of that bell. I think. Hi, Mr. Kidnapper. Yes, there are so many of you. Wow, there's really a lot of you. Did I miss her? There she is. What? Why didn't you die? Craters. No! Ah! <laughs> I 
I mean, okay, but Sora would just shoot the flower and kill it instantly, so like, I don't know... Two bell women? I don't know where the other one is, then. Hi. I see a guy up there. Yeah, I don't know where the other one is. Man, I thought I'd killed that fluorescent flower. What the heck? Hello? It's too fucking dark. I hear something weird. Do you guys hear that? Oh, hi! <laughs> Uh, okay. Uh, I mean, that's kind of dumb, but okay. I mean, I specced into that for a reason. It's kind of shitty to just, like, make things immune to that and take away my agency as a character, but okay. Is there anyone else in here? I saw that trap over there. Ow. Can Thumerians become ghosts? I'm sure Thumerians can become ghosts. They probably have souls. I mean, I guess I don't know why they wouldn't. It would have been cool if there was a fake door there and the the statue trap was to get you to hit it. It's called game design! Whoop whoop! Whoop whoop! Whoop! I don't know why I made that noise. They're the really pale, like, white guys in here. So this guy is a Thumerian. The kidnappers are Thumerians. Uh... Elon Musk is a Thumerian. <laughs> Get fucked, Elon Musk. Honestly, like, fuck that guy. He's the worst. I hope Twitter wins their lawsuit against him and he doesn't actually get to own Twitter. That's what I hope for. Yeah, the bare butt guy is also a Thumerian. This feels like a trap. Not a trap! Weird. I'll send you that picture that I saw of him, Nan, because, like, wow. He seriously is, like, dead white. Weird. Very strange. Hello? 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 I would like to buy a damn big I don't know why I said that. You ever just say stuff, and then you're like, I don't know where that came from. I keep thinking these candles are items. Why are you putting bright spots in your dungeon that aren't items? I don't understand. Ah! <laughs> what on earth? <laughs> God! Heal! No, I died! <laughs> well, uh, I mean, I guess I don't need to go that way. Anything else is just extra, so. 
That surprised the shit out of me, though. My god. What the hecky? Who is this? Is this Prospector Oleg? <laughs> Brandon, it's your best bud! It's your bud. Your guy. Your favorite man. Your dude. Should I summon him for Doggo? Oh, should I use a... Uh, saw cleaver for Doggo? Uh, I feel like the difference between damage is a little too significant to merit that. Nope, that's not what I wanted. Is this the daddy? No. <laughs> okay, this is not the daddy, but this is the hot dog. So you might want to, like, if you are interested in seeing the hot dog, I don't know how you're watching, but you might want to, like, actually watch. Yeah, Holy Blade is way better. Fuck Olex, all my homies hate Olek. <laughs> it is hot dog, right? It's not a uh, Keeper of the Old Lords. Keeper of the Old Lords is Mika though. Like, if I had to pick a character for Mika to be in this game, it would literally just be Keeper. How do they keep finding me? Go away! Oh, there's a side shoot. I mean, I guess I could do that. Do we care that much? I guess we can see what it's about. I'm waiting for him. I've got high expectations. Okay. Keeper is really cool. Uh, probably... I'll do hot dog first. There's not really any point in not doing that. Uh, Keeper is... The boss version is specifically a woman, so that's cool. Um, with a really neat outfit. And uh, just uh, a cool... Cool... Cool lady. Uh, the regular version has doggos. Like hunting doggos that they're always with. I should wear something with fire resistance. Very like fire witch aesthetic. So that's cool. 60 but very low physical defense. Okay, yeah. And then shard. Obviously. That's- this is what- Brandon, I look like your guy now. This is literally just your character. <laughs> Brandon played as Wolm. Oh, yep. It's the hot dog. Hello, hot dog. I'm pretty sure I'm just, like, better against the ones that are, like, monster hunter monsters. Dang it! <laughs> As I don't hit him at all. <laughs> That did not do very much. Ow. God. Hot dog! <laughs> Ow. I miss my whirly gig.
Like how he just kind of like stood there and was like, yeah. I'm a big fan of that for me. Go get your whirly gig. I can like kind of soon after this. I could do Amelia first if we wanted, but then there will be more enemies on the way to Hemwick and I don't really want to put up with that. So maybe I could just go get the lamp to Hemwick and then we could do Amelia. Ow. Does uh, blood cocktails work on this guy? I'm guessing not. Ow. Ow. For some reason I just viscerally remembered that Amygdala did fire damage and I'm upset. You don't think what? Heal. Now's a good time to heal. That was weird. Blood cocktails work. Oh, okay. Well, I didn't need it, so... I do miss my whirly gig, though. So do we want to, um... Do we want to do Hemwick first? Or do we want... To go to Hemwick and then kill Amelia, or... Oh, you know what I can do? That I just remembered. There's this fucking... There's two doors in Cathedral Ward that I have never, ever, ever been able to know what they say. Because I always get to the point in the game where you can't talk to them anymore. And then I'm like, fuck! Those doors! <laughs> Still didn't get them. <laughs> Uh, let's buy, because I do remember, what do you think of hot dog, Nana? Hot dog. Hmm. Yeah, let's go see... Let's go see if I can kill the hunters by those doors. And then, uh, not as cute as my hot dog? Yeah, that's fair. She is very cute. She is a cute little hot dog. That is not very little, in fact, but still. Doing okay today. Game-wise, anyway. Did my little creature go? I miss him. He's so cute. This is a long way to go, though. To just like run by everybody. Hello. Excuse me. Why am I the best? Okay. Okay. Oh, shit. I thought you'd be gone. I'm the best. <laughs> Hi. Ah! I did not think you would fit down here! Oh my god! <laughs> Come get me.
I do not want to fight Jacob Marley. Not interested. Not interested. Hey, dude. Oh, God, I always struggle with these guys for some reason. Yeah, I'm not. Yeah, no. God! Is he behind you? <laughs> not anymore, I don't think. Okay. So... The Pikachu guy... That's what everybody calls him. He, they call him... Yeah, because he's right there. You can see his Tenitrus. So he only uses thunder damage, so everybody calls him Pikachu. Because everybody is creatures. I should be able to do okay with my holy blade. Oh, I hear a wandering madness. Hi. Hi, Pikachu. Ow. He's absolutely not as cute as Pikachu. This is the easiest time I've ever had with him. Wow. Usually we end up, uh, like, circling the well, because... Oh wait, no, it's the other guy that's trigger-happy, isn't it? I hear a weird noise. Um, I'm looking for blood defense. What is blood? Oh, okay. Blood defense is just called blood defense. Weird how that works. Fun fact! Maria's armor has the best blood defense in the game. Fun fact for Nana. Hi. Oh, it's this- yeah, it is this guy, because he's got the rifle spear. I said it right that time. Come here, you fucker. Yeah, because this guy does nothing but use his gun. And it's not fair. Because he has infinite bullets and I don't. <laughs> Man, what do you even do when someone keeps shooting? Like, I actually don't know. I could poison him. Hypothetically, anyway. Uh, how the fuck are you supposed to beat this guy? All he does is shoot his stupid gun. His range is so long, too. I really should not be wasting these since I can't buy them yet. Uh... Hmm. 
Man, is he annoying. I think you can sneak up on him. Yeah, his range doesn't count for shit if I can get calls. <sighs> Fucker. God. Okay. That guy is a fucking punk ass bitch. <laughs> okay, there is a kidnapper over here, and I don't want him to sneak up on me. Hey, bud. Go. <laughs> yep. Where'd he go? Okay, well. I guess that's him taken care of, question mark? I hear him, but I don't see him. Oh, there he is. I mean, you could just hop down, my guy. Yeah, but he's not gonna come get me anymore. Okay, let's see what they say. Bless us with blood. Bless us with blood. Seriously? Bless us with blood. So they're just like p praying the fucking rosary or something. Bless us with blood. Bless us with blood. Well, that wasn't worth it in the slightest. I feel like Brandon is just mad that Sora is cool. Hue hue. Mad bro. It's kind of awkward now because like on one hand um shit I just realized that I kind of screwed myself over she's specced for something she's not really intended to do anymore which is kind of rough like for me and then uh until I release a shotgun of magic missile. Ah! Fucking hell. Uh. So that was fun, I guess. Uh. I guess let's get that item on top of the house and then maybe go back to the lamp and level up because I think I have enough for that. 
Why do those, uh... <laughs> the guys with the crucifixes always really mess me up. Like, I can't fight them for some reason. I'm just not very good at it. Can you see anything weird from here? So there's the Forbidden Woods. Uh, nothing else really. I feel like, um, whatever god decided everything has to be doggos just really liked doggos. Like, let's make a plague of doggos. Fuck! No, thank you. Sorry, I don't mean it. No, thank you. No, thank you. No, thank you. No, thank you. I'm politely saying no, thank you, sir. Bloodborne God is a furry. Honestly, maybe. That wouldn't surprise me. I said no, thank you. Respect my boundaries. I said no thank you. I said no thank you, thank you. Wait, no, you- now you aren't listening to me. My dude. God! Barabara bar furry monster. Or a barra furry monster. Uh, I mean, kind of. Yeah, I'd say there is. I just want to get past this guy, like I just thought I could kill that one and then run, and now I'm like stuck here. Ow. At least one is a furry. <laughs> okay, well that was a waste of resources. <laughs> So, this is where the game wants me to go. So let's go get the lamp. No. Let's... Okay, Brandon and Nana direct me. Do we want to go into the cathedral or do we want to go to Hemwick? Give me your answers. Cause I can't, I can't make up my mind. I am a troubled soul. You know, now that I think about it, Hemwick is a pretty mega town. It's just a bunch of ladies. And they burn people. And, uh, okay, I'm gonna use a Bold Hunter's Mark to level up then. <sighs> a bunch of ladies! A lot of them are witches and they just, like, burn everything, pretty much. 
very it's very Mika. Very Mika place. I will go to Hemwick after I level up. Is there a bar of furry monster? Brandon, what do you think is the most bar of furry monster in this game? Cause I I know what one I'm thinking of. But I'm curious oh, to know what you I think. Must have, what is it? Very well, let me. That's still. Yeah. Farewell. I feel like I don't respect her very much. <laughs> like she's like, let me help you, kind hunter. And then I'm like, yep, and run away. Creature. You You don't know what Bara means? So Bara means rose. But in like anime stuff it generally refers to like really buff guys. Or like Yeah, I think it's like imagine JoJo characters. Like all JoJo characters are Bara. All of them. Except for Kokichi. Ko ko Kokichi or Koichi? I can't remember if it's Kokichi or Koichi. He is not Bara. Big titty. Usually from buffness. Sorry, I have to adjust my microphone. No. <laughs> Ariana, your blood was not very helpful to me. Ah, <gasps> brave hunter. What is it? Have you renewed thoughts on this matter? Yes, of course. Coming close. Now. Take my blood. Eat. Blood of Adela. Blood taken from Adela, none of the healing church. Restores an amount of HP, then continues to gradually restore HP for a short time. The healing church nuns are chosen for their merit as vessels for blood and groomed as blood saints. The mere chance of being treated with their blood lends legitimacy to the healing church and communion. So, <laughs> Cleric Beast's Papa G. Oh, I know who it is. Is it... I mean, it's kind of hard to... Stretch Armstrong. <laughs> Fuck him! Fuck him! This fucking stretchy rubber arms ass dickhead! Fuck that guy! Like, I... His arms are not that long! How are... How is his reach that long? I don't understand. I don't. And I'm very cranky now. <laughs> Yeah, that is who I was thinking of. Him or the the guy that occasionally has a noodle for a head. One of them. Noodle head guy. I have not done anything. I have committed no crimes. Did you do DBP yet? No, I didn't. I didn't want to do him until I had Henrik set. And I think the recommended level for him is like a little bit more than what I have, but I can check. Why does that guy keep noticing me? He's literally never noticed me before. I'm annoyed. Uh... <laughs> I'm just waiting for him to move! Go away! Okay, so 
DBP in quotation marks. Oh. No, I'm probably right at the... What level am I? I don't want to be his senpai. That guy has a big hat and I'm jealous. Look at it. Look at his elegant hat. God! How come all the church guys who are blatantly Thumerians? <laughs> How come they all have cool hats? I don't understand. I want the cool hat too. I want the Boomhammer Hunter's hat. It's the biggest hat in the game. He also has a hammer that explodes. I'm super jealous. I'm very jealous of his big hat and his uh, hammer that explodes. Weirdly, I've never tried the boom hammer now that I think about it. Hunting doggle. Can't wait to meet you! Join the animatronic family! We open real soon! We'll try your best to hold on to sanity! Can't wait to- Nope, that's not how it goes. Come get to know me! And you won't wanna leave after to die! <laughs> I don't remember. Oh wait, uh, in D and D, the doggos with Volm. I vaguely remember. I can't believe I just ran through there. I remember that being like a, a whole thing. I feel like that's just this game in a nutshell. Hello. I don't know why I sang. I hope you guys didn't mind. I just felt like a chaotic moment. With no actual heads. Hey, was that inspired by Noodle Boy then? The Noodle? I struggled with him a lot. Ow. Yeah, I do remember those. That was the session where we captured Lambert, right? That was funny. And then we walked Nana back because she parked at like fucking Subway. What is that noise? Do you hear the graveyard murmurs? Then it's almost time. Oh, I can't wait. I just can't wait. <laughs> Lady, what the fuck? Do you hear the grave, then it's... <gasps> <laughs> what has Lambert been doing? I mean, he's obviously been in jail, but...
How do you think Lambert feels about Shiori being queen? This is a lovely statue, isn't it? What a lovely thing! Wow! A work of art! Beautiful! Wow! Wow! <laughs> uh, I should probably put on... The charred stuff, cause there's a lot of fire in this fucking area for some goddamn reason. Uh, I know there's a dot. Yeah, there they are. Come get me! Come get me! Creature! Oh! Since he's doomed to his fate anyway. Do you think, uh, June ever got to be nicer to him or no? <laughs> What would be a good way to handle this? Hey lady! Why would he be annoyed that someone smart is at the top? Cause he- th then he isn't needed? Because he's usually the smart one. Sleepy lady ever visited him? Oh, Kawahara? I don't know what you said absolutely not about. Like, what was that in reference to? Uh, June being nicer to him? Yeah, that makes sense, I guess. <laughs> was he dicking with Sora then? Because Sora's not very smart. Weird how that works, Lambert, you creature. Okay, yeah, that's what I thought. June is also a creature, to be fair. 100% creature material. Sora is smart, but in a different way than June is. Or Chiori is, for sure. <laughs> Hello, creature. No, it sounds really good. A blizzard, like from Dairy Queen. I'm sad that I cannot have that. Because I cannot go get it. Hello, creatures. Yeah, so she probably knows what he is. 
what he's up to. So, legend says that one of these crows is non-hostile. I don't think it's this one. Are all of them non-hostile? No, that one is not. I'm trying to figure out which crow is the nice one. You are not the nice crow. Be gone. Only nice crow can survive. Are you the nice crow? Wow, he is! I love him! Creature. Creature. Wow, look at my buddy, my pal, my friend. A polite boy. Wow. 100% just a lad. A real chonky boy. What is it? He's my rotten soldier. My sweet cheese. What do you mean? My good time boy! Okay, so here we're back at the... Back at the beginning. My rotten soldier. My sweet cheese. My good time boy. I love him. <laughs> God. Just a little guy. Just a little guy. Bone marrow ash. That's fun. He's my rotten soldier, my sweet cheese, my good time boy. I saw you. Why don't you come back around, lady? It's funny because, uh, since I struggled with this area so much, I remember where all the enemies are. So now... I can actually do it! Beach! And I said... Beach! Creature. Look at these poor horses. Do you hear that? Weird. Can't fucking see. It's hard to see in this bench. Here we go. I think there's a wandering madness up here. Yeah. Thank you. Twin buds on shards. Yeah. Gotta get my tinnitus to plus six. So I can kill a certain boss that I really hate.
I miss my my friend, my go my boy, my good time lad. Yeah, I did not forget that you're here. I bet you thought you really had something there, huh? Madman's knowledge. Oh, weird. The sound effect is still happening. Oh, it's the door, isn't it? I'm smart. Brandon really likes that TikTok. That's like, uh... I guess it's from what we do in the shadows, where it's like... He's my best friend, my rotten soldier, my sweet cheese, my good time boy. And he says it specifically like that. My good time boy. Hello. Maybe move a little faster next time, lady. I hate this area because I'm constantly in fear of falling off. I do not like it. Hey lady. Hey lady. Hey lady. Hey lady. Yeet. Makes you think of Frisk, why? Cause he's your good time boy. Is your rotten little cheese? Oh dear. Oh dear. Oh, hey. I'm being assaulted by elderly women. I'm telling you, elderly people are a problem in this game. I don't know why everyone's old as fuck and they're all super violent, but I'm tired of it. They're a problem. First is a rotten little cheese. He is just a creature. He is just a creature. He is just a creature. Frisky is my creature! Hey doggo. Hey doggo. Oh, hi lady. I did not mean to use a torch for that. I had intended to shoot him. But that works too, I guess. They make a weird noise when they die. They're like, uh... And it is strange and I do not like it very much. Hello? Yeah, I did remember somebody was in there. <laughs> Elderly people are a problem. I don't know why, specifically elderly people, but they are. Frisk is a rotten cheese. What does rotten cheese even mean, though? Man, you breathe so fucking loud, dude. He is my sweet cheese, my good time boy, little creature. Should we fight an executioner, or do we not care that much? I guess I don't care that much, but also I should probably. Should I go back? 
I'm always as afraid of losing my echoes. <laughs> In case that wasn't obvious. This is a concern for me. I am concerned. Hello. Hello, my sweet cheese. My good time boy. This is lovely, huh? It sounds like she's sawing something. Concern. I mean, I should, right? Why am I nervous about it's fine, I did it once, I can do it again, what the heck? Why am I nervous? God. God! <sighs> I'm hungry. I don't know why I'm hungry, I just ate, like, not that long ago. Welcome home, good hunter, good <sighs> city. Very well, let me... Should I start boosting my arcane? So that I can use... I can't think of what it's called. I'm sure it's fine. Just do... Let's just do health again. Oh my... Uh... Oh. Farewell, good hunter. Okay. Hemrick is in here. Will you call me later? Please call me. I am a lonely bitch. I've got to work. I no want to work, but I'm go to work. I need money for my bitches. God. Ye. Thank you. Okay. I guess I'll talk to you later then. I mean, I what um time for D and D tomorrow? Cause I yeah, I still don't know. Ow. I need money for my bitches. Ah! God. God. That was not the friendly crow. The friendly crow uh, is in the back of the group. Does he see me? I can't tell. I think he does. Oh, maybe he didn't before, but he does now. Okay, well, good luck with your stuff. I 
I guess I'll try to take on this executioner. Yeah, I don't know what I was worried about. There was nothing to worry about. This is just who I am. Wow, I already have another 10,000. So many boys. There's a lot of boys in this place. Many. Yeah, I hear you. Ooh, I didn't see you there. She has a lot of feelings, apparently. That's nice. <laughs> yeah. Uh, well, they're weak to thunder. That's specifically why I was using the... Um... To nitrous on them. But yeah. So, this is kind of a weird boss. They're not very hard. Uh... I don't know what they're weak to. Should I look it up? Which is of Hamwick. <laughs> I don't know why I care. Again, they're not very hard. Defenses. Oh, they're actually stronger to bolt than most things. So I guess I will not use my Tenitras. Wow. I saw you there. This is such a weird boss fight. It's not very boss fighty. Because a lot of the time you're just running around looking for the witch. I found you. She is quite screechy, it's true. Hello? Is anybody over here, maybe? They only really show up when you get close to them. I don't know where that mad one went. Oh, he's up there. Hey, bud. Scree! We over here? No. Hide and seek time! Where is she? There she is! Where's the other one? Cause there's a secret second one for some reason. Ow. I guess she moved already. Oh, that's the dead one. Okay. I guess let's group them up over here, cause... Oh, there she is. Oh! Shit! Well... She's tried to take my eyeball! God! You can't capture me, I've already been captured, bitch! Nope, nope, nope. God! 
god, there goes my other eyeball! What will I do? What will I do with one solitary eyeball? Wait, did I just imply that I have three eyeballs? Is she over here? She is. Dang it! I see where you are, creature. I see where you are too, creature. It's okay. I will just do this boring ass boss fight. No worries. This is not a very exciting one. Okay, just need to get her. Eat! Ah! Don't touch me! <laughs> okay, that was kind of funny. No touchy! I guess I really didn't need to go back and level up, but here we are. <sighs> so, the reward that I get for this is down here. Because technically, this is uh, an optional boss, so, like, you don't have to do it. So well, here's a poor little hunter. Poor little hunter man, locked in this room with all this weird jank stuff. Got some jank! It looks like a chicken lives here, in addition to like, a Hanzo or something. <laughs> a chicken and a Hanzo live in this room. No! Why did I do that? It's cause, um, I keep meaning to unselect my monocular. We got a rune workshop tool. So let's see. Rune workshop tool. Rune Smith Carroll, student of Bergenworth, transcribed the inhuman utterings of the Great Ones into what are called Carroll runes. The hunter who retrieves this workshop tool can etch Carroll runes into their mind to obtain their wondrous strength. Provost Willem would have been proud of Carol's runes, as they do not rely upon blood in any measure. So that's fun. Uh, I guess I could read some of the other new stuff that I got. Crow Hunter Badge. Uh, that's what I got for Eileen dying. Badge of a hunter of hunters, who hunts those who have become addled with blood. The badge of the Hunter of Hunters is quietly passed down from generation to generation, usually to an outsider from the hinterlands. To be entrusted with this cursed badge, one must be strong, resilient to the seduction of blood, and gracious when taking a comrade's life. And we got... nothing else new there for now. Uh... I got... Yeah, nothing fun there. Uh, so I can read the armor stuff. So, from the hunter set, one of the standard articles of hunter attire fashioned at the workshop. A fine piece of hunter attire that provides stable defense to anyone facing Yarnum's beastly threat. Recognizable by its withered feathers, this cap is fashioned after one of the old hunters. Oh my god. I don't think it really says anything different in between them. Uh, this one adds, allows one to stalk beasts unannounced by cover of night. Top hat. Hat worn by hunters who admire formality. Some hunters place an emphasis on form, as seen by the use of the threaded cane. For them, formality, beauty, and justice are the very essence of humanity, and precisely what keeps hunters from becoming something else. I already read the yarn and stuff. Charred hunter garb. One of the staple articles of hunter attire, fashioned at the workshop. A product of the scourge of the beast that once plagued old Yarnum, and culminated in the, fi the town's fiery cleansing. The cape's dampness makes it highly resistant to fire. 
Wearers of this attire hunted down victims of the scourge who survived the raging flames and stench of singed blood. <laughs> Black Church Hat Attire of Healing Church Hunters most healing church hunters are elementary doctors who understand the, important of er the importance of early prevention of the scourge, achieved by disposing of victims, and even potential victims, before signs of sickness manifest themselves. Their black attire is synonymous with fear, and that per peculiar yarn of madness. Here we go. Uh, very high fashion attire, I know, right? Uh, what surgical long gloves? White surgical gloves. The intricate, the intricate. Oh my gosh, I can't read. Embroidery weaves a spell that protects their wearer. The church engages engages in the hunt in a medical capacity. When a cancer is discovered, one must pinpoint its location, reach in, and wrench it from the host's bosom. Bosom. Henrik stuff. Uh, hunter's attire worn by Henrik, the old hunter. The taciturn old hunter Henrik was once partners with Father Gascoigne, and though they were a fierce and gallant duo, their partnership led to Henrik's tragically long life. Henrik's unique yellow garb is resistant to bolt and will be of great help to any hunter who has inherited the onus of the hunt. <laughs> Your mom is confused by the concept of oil pastels. Why? It's just another medium. Hunter attire worn by Father Gascoigne. The dingy scarf is a holy shawl and symbol of the healing church, from which Gascoigne would eventually part ways. Father is a title used for clerics in a foreign land, and there is no such rank in the healing church. Uh, doll stuff I think I read already. Common yarnum hat. Cap. Blech. Well worn and losing its shape. Well worn and damp with sweat. Okay. And then, I did get something I think I read while you weren't here. I thought it was a gem, though. Well, we can read my Carol runes. Communion. A secret symbol left by Carol, runesmith of Bergenworth. Several runes relate to blood, including communion, which raises the maximum number of blood vials one may carry. This rune represents the healing church and its ministers. Blood ministration is, of course, the pursuit of communion. Formless Eden. A secret symbol left by Carol, runesmith of Bergenworth. Uh, I think they all say that. <clears throat> the Great One Eden, lacking form, exists only in voice, and is symbolized by this rune. Those who memorize it enjoy a larger supply of quicksilver bullets. Human or no, the oozing blood is a medium of the highest grade, and the essence of the formless Great One Eden. Both Eden and his inadvertent worshippers surreptitiously seek the precious blood. A carol rune that transcribes in human sounds. So this is air. The air sees sentimentality in the warmth of blood and acknowledges visceral attacks as one of the darker hunter techniques. More blood echoes gain from visceral attacks. Perhaps the heir is a hunter who bears the echoing will of those before him. Moon. A transcription of moon, as spoken by the Great Ones inhabiting the nightmare. Gain more blood echoes. The Great Ones that inhabit the nightmare are sympathetic in spirit, and often answer when called upon. Beast. A transcription of the roar of a labyrinth beast. The bearer of the beast rune has accentuated temporary transformation effects. Beast is one of the early carol runes, as well as one of the first to be deemed forbidden. The discovery of blood entailed the discovery of undesirable beasts. Hello, unde undesirable beasts. I'm good at reading. Uh, and then we got some chalices. Uh, doesn't say... The old labyrinth was carved out by the Thumerians, superhuman beings that are said to have unlocked the wisdom of the Eldritch Truth. <sighs> so, just a bunch of item descriptions that give you some lore. <laughs> what is she rambling about books for? 
book book welcome what is it very well let me oh i can level up twice only four more points of stamina it's not very good i could boost my skill Or I could start putting it into Arcane. Uh, let's do that. <laughs> what book did she read? Over time to create all. Farewell, good hunter. Let's go see Gilbert. I don't know if he says something different at this point or not. So I actually did both of the things I said I would do today. And now I don't really know what to do. I could try Amelia. Uh, in the Grand Cathedral. Verity, verify. Your mother is a creature. Ah, uh, don't you worry about me. <laughs> oh, kitty friends. Well, thanks, Gilbert. Riveting conversation. Oh. Uh, maybe like a third? third of the way seems about right, especially since I'm not doing chalice dungeons. Yeet! So... <sighs> ah! We could do... Um, another chalice dungeon, or at least start it. I could try to kill Vicar, Amelia. I could try to kill the boss at the end of uh, Yahargul. Let's see what Brandon thinks. Let's see. Amelia. Okay, I texted him to see what he says. Because he might want to see me do one of them, I, I don't know, but... Uh, in the meantime... Good. Keep yawning, apparently. Oh! Uh, let's use the, the rune. The rune tool. Yeet! Definitely want that one. I don't have very many. Okay, well, Brennan says he wants me to do the one we were talking about earlier. So I guess I'll go do that. I'm thirsty. Ugh, can't reach my water bottle. I got that. Come here. Sure. Owie. Owie. 
Don't die here, that would be embarrassing. Yay! Okay. <laughs> Lovely statues as always! Here's my cat friend. Hi, Frisky. I love him. He is my creature. Oh, wait. Not touchy. Not touchy. This does not bode well for me beating the boss, by the way. Dying right when I come here. Embarrassing! Great. Wow, this one is aggressive. God! You mean this lovely statue? This beautiful one right here? This one? And this one also? I genuinely don't know what the fuck this is supposed to be. That kind of looks... Like a... A uterus, doesn't it? That's weird. Uh... I guess I could go this way... You know what, I don't know why I'm going all the way around. Yeah, it kind of does look like a fucked up heart. Hi, creature! Frisky came to say hi. Hello, creature! My little boy. My little booger butt. Nope. <laughs> Something with chambers, yeah. I know she's right here. <laughs> Fine. He's being crazy. No, I was trying to hit her. Oh, hey, bud. Didn't see you there. Ooh. It's a good thing that wall is there. Just to get to him is kind of a pain in the butt. There's a pain in my tukus. In my tukus. Wearing Henrik stuff. I guess, uh... I definitely don't need my tinnitus. The saw cleaver might be good though. Never mind. Saw cleaver won't make any more sense than anything else that I have. Crater. Whoa, did you hear that? That was weird. The chanting went away immediately. It's 
strange. What's that, huh? Weird. <laughs> Always me acting like I don't know. This is one where I prefer to have a guy help me. A lot of monsters, I feel like you can't tell what they're gonna do if you have somebody helping you because they're not just gonna focus on you, they're gonna focus on someone else too. But, uh... The Fector Ontal is a fucking badass, and I love him. <laughs> so. Oh, did you see him move? One second. I gotta... Gotta set up my stuff. Uh... I don't think this even works, but we can try that. And then we got... He's my bro, my best friend, my sweet cheese, my good time boy. <laughs> uh, yeah, fire paper. Sounds good. Walked right into that. Man, Ontal is the best. Careful what you wish for. Somebody actually has, uh, put stat blocks out for everything in Bloodborne, so... I'm a little trigger happy with blood vials lately. You're so fucking cool, my dude. I love you. Yeah, I'll see you later, bud. Man, isn't he cool? <laughs> yeah, dark beasts are really cool. I'm a big fan. Look at where we are! Back in Old Yanum. Old Yanum. I guess I should go back in the. Uh... Oh, hi, Mom. Cucumum. Cucumum. <laughs> I did it. Woohoo! Well, now I have to ask Brennan what else he thinks I should do, because he, he actually knows. Beat them. Uh, level up a few. Well, what is it here? And then... Oh, it does kind of look like diagonally, doesn't it? Very diagonally. Well. Let me... I can level up... Oh, only twice? Really? 
I guess I'm gonna keep pumping my arcane because well um they're connected farewell good hunter so old Yarnum uh used to be part of Yarnum and then they burned it down and so uh yeah it's it's not anymore I guess <laughs> graveyard of the dark beast that's an edgy name can't be a town called sugar plum Oh, I thought you meant that they all have, like, connected names. My bad. Yeah. I mean... Yarnum is named after a person. Named Yarnum, obviously. Um... I don't know what would be good for fighting. In case it wasn't obviously... I'm gonna go fight Jura. I guess, just this. Yeah, you can't have a beautiful town name in, uh, Bloodborne. Can't have nice things in Bloodborne, it's not allowed. Hello, doggies. I'm just gonna be on my merry way, okay? <laughs> it was really bothering me that I missed that. Hello, creatures. I'm just gonna walk on through, okay? I don't know, I said I'm just gonna walk on through. I said you're not gonna attack me or anything. I'm just gonna do it and you're gonna be okay with it. I don't know why you guys can't listen to me. <laughs> Okay, uh, what do I need in my hot bar for Jura? I can't imagine, well I can't buy these yet, so I don't know why I would. They do not respect my authority! Yeah, I don't really have anything that will help me against him. I still haven't killed that other hunter here either. I don't think they have a name. I think everyone just calls them Jura's companion. Which, like, okay. <laughs> oh, Jura! I just want to be friends, dude. I feel bad that I killed those guys. I won't do it again. You'll be my friend though. Oh! 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 Well, well. How did you get in here? It's no matter. What brings you to old Yarna? I've no interest in matters further up. But you must not disturb this place. The beasts do not venture above and mean no harm to anyone. If you still insist on hunting them, then I will hunt you first. You understand me? That voice though! Dang! Yeah, I'll spare him. Yes, very good. I no longer dream, but I was once a hunter too. There's nothing more horrific than a hunt. I totally agree. In case you fail to realize, the things you hunt, they're not beasts. They're people. One day you will see. Hmm. It's time you got going. But first... A farewell gift. I have no use for it anyway. Uh, okay. I managed to get Jura to be my friend. What is it? Surely I need not repeat myself. Go, I say. Okay. You have the whole night to dream. 
make the best of it. So I guess that solidifies that hunters do in fact only dream for one night. You're only ever a dreaming hunter for one night. Weird. Okay. I guess I'll stick to my word. I mean, I don't really have a reason not to. Will this guy attack me now, or what? Oh, I thought they would all still be grouped up down there. Hello, creatures. I'm just going on my way. I promised Jura I would not attack you, so please do not attack me. Thank you. Uh, it gives you a gesture that you otherwise can't get. So, like, that's pretty cool, to be honest. Um... It's kind of cool that you don't have to fight him because he is a very savage opponent. Uh, I think he doesn't shoot at me anymore when I'm going around old Yarnum if I decide to do that. But he will shoot at me if I hurt another beast. So. Okay. Uh, kind of a... A raw deal to be honest, but like... Whatever. He has a rifle... a rifle... spear. <laughs> Why do I struggle with that so much? Okay, um, I guess... I will give Amelia a go, how about that? And then, uh, I'll probably end the stream for tonight. Um. Ooh. Ripe old smear. <laughs> Rifle spear. I said it that time. I did it. Um. Thrust attack up is pretty good, cause, uh, Amelia's not that tough, um, I think I killed her in three tries. She is really cool. Uh, unfortunately she gets a lot of fan art. One would say, I suppose. <laughs> Ripe old sneer. <laughs> yeah, I can imagine that is what it sounded like I was saying, because for some reason I can't say that. I keep saying rifle sphere. I don't know why. It's probably because I'm just a creature. To repair my holy blade. You know, I forgot uh, that you can fortify your gun, but I honestly don't know why you would want to. What have you got to say? Most of the holy chalices lie deep within the tomb of the gods, and the few that found their way to the surface were lost again in the hands of men. But if the old hunter tales remain true. One of the holy chalices is worshipped in the valley hamlet. Yet the town is in disarray. It was burned and abandoned for fear of the scourge. Home now only to beasts. The perfect place for a hunter, wouldn't you say? I actually disagree, but, you know.
I got anything new now? Ooh, I can get bulk paper. Mm, nothing else, really. Hello? I should also be able to get... Yeah, I can get Eileen's outfit. Uh, here's the rifle spear. This is what it looks like. A trick weapon crafted by the workshop heretics, the powder kegs. A prototype weapon serving as a simple firearm and spear, possibly created in imitation of a lost Kanehurst weapon. Lacks any notable functions, saving that it is the only trick weapon with an attached gun. So you can be double wielding guns! We also got the stake driver. I think this is what Jiro uses. Uh, favored by, yeah, favored by the retired hunter Jura. The stake driver, with its queerly complex design, violently drives thick stakes into the flesh of foes. The stake driver allows for high damage critical attacks, but is difficult to use and leaves its wielder wide open. But none of this should bother a mere powder keg. God! We can look at the Tanitris. A unique trick weapon contrived by Archibald, the infamous eccentric of the Healing Church workshop. Striking this peculiar Iron Morning Star flail like a match generates the same blue sparks that blanket a dark beast. Unfortunately, for reasons untold, the hunters of Archibald's time did not fully take to the device. I did though! I love it! It's my favorite! I've been thinking about trying the Kirk Hammer. Uh... Because it's just the holy blade, but with a hammer instead of a greatsword. But I mostly use the greatsword, so I don't know if that's really worth it. I don't know. Uh, cathedral board. Hmm. I'm pleased that, uh, I was able to befriend Jura. I guess you do have to come from... I think, because I was able to be friends with him in a different playthrough, though, so I think if you hunt any of the beasts that he can see, uh, you can't be friends with him unless you come from Dark Beast Parl's area. But if you don't, then I think you can just come from the Church of the Chalice. Church of the Good Chalice, specifically. <laughs> It's a good chalice. It deserves that title itch. Ah. Oh, wait. Hey, I have over 11 insight now. Hey, Nana, do you want to see something? Wait, but it's not on her. Was it 15 or more then? Aww. Well, maybe after Amelia, we'll be able to see it. Fifteen insight is probably the magic number. Probably. Ow. I like this guy's big scythe, but I feel like he should have a bigger hat. You should get a bigger hat, dude. That guy has a bigger hat than you, and he's embarrassing you. He's just dunking on you with his big hat. <laughs> oh, I should have opened the doors. Ugh. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Look at those lovely torch sconces. Aren't they beautiful? This must be the church of a really good god, don't you think? Just a, a real... Pleasant god that just wants the best for everybody and isn't ominous at all. Look at them. They're, they can't come in. <laughs> <laughs> I 
There's a note here. Heir to the ritual of blood, purveyor of ministration. Place your hand on the altar's sacred covering and inscribe Master Lawrence's adage on upon your flesh. What does that mean? So, uh, I don't think it's really worth it to use the saw cleaver over the holy blade. Because I don't know what the serration bonus is against beasts. So I don't know that it's worth it. I do kind of remember that a faster weapon is better. So that's an interesting prayer that she's got there. Uh, one of the few instances where numbing mist is actually helpful. Um, I don't think she's gonna be that hard, to be honest. I'm pretty overleveled at this point. What does that even mean? I will say that is some beautiful scenery. God. Doggle. Ow. 
Oh, owie. Well, she didn't even try to heal herself. Normally she does. She's one of the, like, only enemies in the game that does that. <sighs> that was a little... Maybe anticlimactic a little bit, maybe. <laughs> Is everyone even still here? I don't know. Master Willem, I've come to bid you farewell. That is loud. Oh, I know, I know. You think now to betray me. No, but you will never listen. I tell you, I will not forget our adage. We are born of the blood. Made men by the blood. Undone by the blood. Our eyes are yet to open. Fear the old blood. I must take my leave. That's okay. You don't have to comment. I just wasn't sure if you guys were still here or not. That is not a human skull. So this is Lawrence's skull. Uh, Lawrence is often called the the like originator of the healing church, which is where I am right now. They have beautiful statues. These ones are much more pleasant than the ones in Yahargul. But, uh... No, I wasted a fire paper! I didn't mean to! God... Yeah, church is to the same god, so... I don't know what they think they're doing. Also, it's night now. I don't know if you noticed that. Night in the game. Uh, it was just kind of like evening before. Welcome home. What is it, you? Very well, let me. So, just gonna level up. And then, uh... Farewell, good hunter. Oh, let's see Welcome. if she has what is it? something else to say. Hunters have told me about the church. About the gods and their love. But... Do the gods love their creations? I am a doll created by you humans. Would you ever think to love me? Of course. I do love you. Isn't that how you've made me? God, that line makes me sad. Farewell, good hunter. May you find your worth in the waking world. So, uh, since I killed Amelia, I can now do the DLC stuff. The eye of a blood drunk hunter beckons hunters to the hunter's nightmare. A deformed creature will whisk you away outside Eden Chapel. I have a blood drunk hunter. Why? I don't understand, uh, the gesture. Like, what causes you to do what gestures. Yeah, I don't know. Um, eye of a blood drunk hunter. The eye of a blood drunk hunter. Its pupil is collapsed and turned into mush, indicating the onset of the scourge of beasts. A hunter who goes drunk with blood is said to be taken by the nightmare, destined to wander forever, engaged in an endless hunt. It is a fate that no hunter can escape. Yeah, I love the doll too. I feel bads for her. 
so um, next time I stream, uh, I can't stream tomorrow because we got D and D probably. Um, I can get the Whirly Gig because that's my other favorite weapon, and that's in the DLC. Uh, we can look around the DLC, but it is really difficult. It's really not for this level. <laughs> I don't really know why they give it to you at this level, but whatever. Uh, I might be, like, at the minimum for it, but yeah, it's a little bit hard. Uh, and then we can go start heading to Bergenworth, I guess. So, that's it for today, but thank you for coming. I appreciate it. I will wave. Goodbye! Uh, see you next time! Doo -doo -doo.